The following video was recorded yesterday when the event actually happened. Just so you know that. Enjoy. What a day. What an event. And especially, what products. So today, we're going to go over everything that we know from the Apple event. So there were two main things covered today. Apple Watch and iPhone. That's it. No extra stuff like in previous years. This year, just straight to the freaking point. So we start off with Apple Watches, of course, and we have the Series 9, which there isn't much to talk about this time. I mean, there's actually literally nothing to talk about. It's almost the exact same as the Series 8, except for one key feature that, is be that has become so legendary already to my eyes. Double tap. Yeah, that gesture is gonna become a freaking meme. Mark my words. <laughs> So the double tap acts as like a gesture you can do if you, it's an accessibility gesture to be honest with you. You can, you can start or end a phone call with it, you can open a reminder with it, you can like basically the things you do on a phone like when you tap on a phone, you can do that with um, double, tap, uh, du double tapping your fingers. And you can even do gestures like scrolling down lists and stuff without using the digital crown which I found kind of weird, but regardless. And something I did not think was actually gonna be true, but I should have known it was true. Apple Watch Ultra 2. Uh, again, not much to say about with this one, except they um, they really did a lot with the watch faces and with, uh, with the brightness. Apparently this thing goes up to like 2,000 or 3,000 nits or something, 3,000 nits or something like that which will be amazing for, you know, all, all those people who use this during the bright and sunny afternoon for very uh, demanding activities. So yeah, you know, good, uh, good form. The, these, uh, these bad boys are able to be ordered now and will be available next week. Just like with the iPhones. So we have the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus with a couple of new changes to them. Basically now they're taking stuff from the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max and, and adding them into this compact device which I really really love. Um, basically the Dynamic Island is now on these phones so you know bravo for that. Um, these things are much brighter of course they have the A16 chip uh, you know the drill by now. Um, but. The cameras from the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max are also on these phones as well, which will be a big plus for those who are not looking to spend a bit more money for the Pro, but I think we should spend a bit more money from the, for the Pro, which I'll get into in a minute. But the big stuff for all iPhones this year, actually, they now have USB-C. Oh my God, thank you. Why did it take so long? But uh, yeah, finally USB-C is here, so now we can use all three Apple devices like with just one charger. You absolutely love to see it. Just like you absolutely love to see the absolute magic that is iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. So most of the stuff from iPhone 15 is here. You know, we still have the dyna dynamic island there. Uh, USB-C uh, USB is there, of course, for the uh, Pros as well. And the cameras are still better than ever. And if anything, for the Pro Max, they have a specific uh, brand new camera where now instead of the three times zoom you'll now have five times zoom so just imagine uh, how much closer you can get to subjects it's like you have a 100 millimeter camera at your dispense dispense but also they have something called spatial video with the ultra wide and regular wide cameras where you can just um, do it like it's a 3d video and you can be present in the moment like if you're watching on watching it on apple vision pro which they especially highlighted here and another major key thing here the action button basically replacing the mute switch you can still use it to, to, as a mute switch but you can do so many cool features with it you can open the camera app with it you can um, open an app another application with it and you can make specific shortcuts with it on Siri shortcuts so that's very cool to see just like the titanium finish this I think they specifically redesigned the phone to accommodate this titanium feel and it looks absolutely gorgeous it looks absolutely gorgeous my favorite being just the regular normal titanium it's absolutely amazing but the other colors look stunning too and all these iPhones will be starting at the same price as they were last year and we will get them next week just like with iOS 17 so you love to see it 
Another thing that they spent a very long time talking about here is the emphasis on how all these products are carbon neutral. They even made an entire sketch with uh, Keith Lee from Smosh. Yes, Keith is actually in, an, in a sketch in, for Apple. Who, who knew? Um, but apparently they're having this conversation with uh, uh, a woman who goes by Mother Nature about how they're specifically mandatory their goal to get carbon neutral by 2030 in everything they do. And this thing was a complete waste of time. I mean, cool. I mean, of course, cool that they're advertising this. This is awesome, you know. But they do it for almost every year, and it's getting a bit tiresome at this point. And it really ran its course when they did this entire sketch. Sure, it was funny at times, but it went for way too long. It was like five or ten minutes long. It, it, it really didn't need to be there. Especially with this whole monologue of this of, uh, of this one other Apple employee afterwards. Like, just please, cut that all out! <laughs> <laughs> we get your mission, okay? So yeah, that's all the stuff that happened at the Apple event this year. Very straight to the point, unlike other years, where they throw in a random surprise in there. This is probably going to be the uh, last Apple event we will see until next year's Worldwide Developers Conference, uh, which I don't really cover. I only cover these September events where the scoop has been duped. So yeah, this was an awesome event. Just stay away from carbon neutral, guys. You don't have to mention it every five seconds. We know.